I can jump in on this one. Um, so I think this one you can tell really is a septal. Yes, good. How timely. So this is uh, erythema nodosum. Yeah, this is like perfect classic erythema nodosum, right? And again, you, the beautiful biopsy uh, went all the way down and got not just a little bit of the fat, but deep fat. And see, this is a good example. Like if we had even some fat here, I could say there's a little septal thickening. There's a little bit of lymphocytic infiltrate, even though it gets into the lobule a little, which is common to see a little lobular involvement, but it is definitely accentuated near or in the septa, right? I think we can clearly see from low power that, yeah, it's okay to have septal inflammation. I'm mean, sorry, a lobular, lobule meaning in the middle of the fat again, if you're just tuning in online, in the middle of the fat being involved. There's most of the fat lobule here has relatively normal-ish fat, maybe a touch of fat necrosis, touch of atrophy, a little bit of lymphocytic infiltrate, but it's relatively uninvolved, whereas the septa is much more involved. But yeah, if we didn't get very deep, I could maybe suggest if you wanted enodosum clinically, I could say, yeah, it might be, but it'd be hard to say for sure. Whereas if you get deep into the fat, either through an ellipse or a double punch, it's easier to be like slam dunk. This is enodosum. Great example. The dermis is often normal or minimal, maybe a little bit of perivascular inflammation. So you guys know your theme enodosum is kind of the classic stereotypical probably most common form of paniculitis we see, or one of the more common forms, one or multiple painful erythematous nodules, often arising kind of suddenly, often on the legs of young adults, seems to be you know, a little bit more common in women maybe associated with oral contraceptive use. Those are kind of some of the board's buzzwords, right? So we can see it. It depends what we see here. It depends on the stage of it. In the kind of earlier stage, you get a lot more inflammation, lymphocytes, maybe plasma cells, maybe EOS, sometimes neutrophils even. So there can be cases where there's a decent bit of neutrophils and you can think about infection. You often get a lot of hemorrhage. You begin to get kind of granulation tissue with juicy myofibroblasts, kind of stellate, almost fasciitis-like looking, like nodular fasciitis-like looking areas with myxoid change. Then you may begin to see granulomas with giant cells. And there were some, maybe it was on the other slide, hold on, here. And these, these granulomas sometimes have this spiky kind of radial arrangement that's called like the Miescher's radial granuloma. I see that in a subset of cases. I, I don't feel like you have to have it. If you have this, I don't know if this exactly qualifies for one, but I think this kind of falls into the spectrum of the, the Miescher type granulomas. But I feel like you get vague little clusters of giant cells and granuloma, often with foam cells. Again, mixture of inflammatory stuff, including neutrophils sometimes. And then as the disease progresses, you get more of that young kind of fasciitis-like granulation tissue stuff that you see begins to kind of mature and turn into more and more collagenized sclerotic scar. And eventually it kind of the inflammation burns out and you get scarred bands that are left over. So it depends. The earlier stage can be much more inflammatory. Here's another one of those kind of vague granulomas right here. So this is really good for, for erythema nodosum. Okay. So that's a pretty nice example, but you may see fibrin, you may see neutrophils, you may see nuclear dust, you may see some vasculitis and, and stuff that looks kind of vasculitic or vascular damage. So I've seen those kind of changes in early erythema nodosum. So definitely think about other stuff. Think about, you know, uh, anca vasculitis and other things if I'm starting to see a lot of vascular damage. But if it otherwise fits well for erythema nodosum clinically, and I just see a little vascular damage microscopically, I think that's still totally fine for erythema nodosum. But I do want to start thinking about other things if I start seeing a lot of neutrophils uh, and a lot of vascular damage, okay? But it's a really great example of enodosum. Okay, uh, 11.